So it was pretty clear in the comments of the first episode of Galacticare that you guys wanted to see more of this, which is very exciting because I want to play more of this. It's really fun. The humor is great. You guys seem to enjoy all of that stuff as well and seem to have the same take on this whole thing that I did, which was that it could have been like a, eh, that's cute, but it 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 is kind of a cute game, but it's it's doing its own thing and that's what I'm really enjoying about it. So let's jump back in. We actually have a couple of options for us right here. This is chapter one. This is orientation. This is the one that we spent that first episode doing. We have chapter two available right here, which is burning moon. We do have a little side thing we could do. I did click on this. I haven't loaded into it, but I just clicked on it to see what it was. That's 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 what it is. It is a little side project hospital where we could not project hospital of the game. That's another game, but it's a little side thing we could do to unlock other stuff. I'm not going to do that today. We will probably circle back to those if this ends up being a thing that we continue with long term. But for now, let's take a look at chapter two, Burning Moon. Good to see you back, director. We're about to arrive at the Burning Moon Festival. It's operated by an old fellow, Leonard Moon, a notorious eccentric and reportedly rather neurotic in the not so good sense. Besides an awful amount of noise, chemicals, rampant fornication and various other sapient indulgences, I can't even begin to imagine what more we might encounter. You know, once upon a time, Ms. Orion was nearly decapitated at one of these things. Total madhouse. Director, welcome to the show. I am pleased to report that our acoustic barriers are fully engaged and we are thus safe from any potential cerebral hemorrhaging. The dull thump 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 you can hear is coming from the Burning Moon Festival. Named for, well, I suppose you can look out the window. Wow, it's so bright. Uh, Heel, why are they setting the moon on fire? Medi, it's just one of life's many thrilling mysteries. Get the mop. Okay, this looks like it'll be interesting. I'm kind of curious to see what we're going to be dealing with this time around. The of the festival, which is split between various acts. I'll pop that information up on the objectives window. We're expecting calls from Leonard Moon, the festival's owner, as the revelries develop. Wow, man, that's a turnout. I'm going to give a big wet hug to all the planets and people in the galaxy. If you don't set something on fire, I am going to kick you out. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, that'll be him. Wonderful chap. A very clever and handsome fellow, by all accounts. Never met him myself. I've just noticed that we have a couple of different ways in as well. That's going to be interesting. And some kind of metal situation has happened, but not in a good way. We kind of want to get this cleared up before people start getting spooked that the festival is dangerous or something. So yeah, uh, oh, 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 open up when you can, please. Um, thanks a bunch. It does look rather gnarly down there, Director. Though, now that I think of it, Ms. Orion has been working on a rather illuminating new piece of technology. Mm. Okay, so we have to answer the pending call, prepare the hospital. We have seven acts until the finale. I would imagine what's going to happen is every act is going to have some different kind of condition that we have to deal with. So we could keep things paused. We could start to prepare the basics of the hospital right away. I wonder if we're going to have people coming in. So we have that drive through. We have this drive through. I wonder if we're going to have people coming in from one side more than another or if it would be worth setting up sort of a reception space here and maybe one down here as well so that we can sort of filter people out to all the different places. If we look at rooms, we do have diagnosis available. We do have the boning chamber, the skin lab and basically everything that we had last time. So let's let's set a little something something up. Let's get the reception space going before we start accepting these calls and all that stuff. Let me get some benches as well. I think that'd be a great idea. And I think what I'm going to do is try and push the NPC characters around a little bit. So a bench right there. And then I can potentially do something like this and like this. And then can I, I can't do this, but I can push it back a little bit to there. I don't know if I want to do that though, because this might all be a room. So I think what I'm actually going to do is demolish this object. We are going to demolish this object and I'm going to keep things relatively simple. I want this right in the middle, but then I want to do, well, I want to see how big a room can be. So a room goes up to there. That's perfectly fine. 
So we want to get a bench like this is, is kind of my thinking, right? And that's going to just sort of push people around and that should be okay. We can do the same thing on the other side. So a bench right about there. And then people come into the middle. They can wait their turn. They can go speak to reception just like that. So let's do the same thing. Well, maybe not the same thing over here. Let's do something a little bit smaller over on this side. And you know what? I think this right here is going to do the job. We've got ourselves a couple of diagnosis rooms. A little bit different. This one has more stuff in it because I thought it looked kind of cool. And then this one over here actually just has a wall lined in stuff as well. This one is four by three. That one's three by three. We got a staff room. We got two reception areas, plenty of seating. So let's hear what Mr. Ryan has to say. Laser surgery. Scalpels weren't cutting it, so to speak. So we switched over to high intensity mining lasers to handle some of the crustier conditions people come down with. As it turns out, having industrial energy devices blasting away at your skin made people anxious. So I also took the initiative to make it a kind of immersive musical experience. Kind of like dressing up an MRI machine as a pirate ship. That sounds horrific and I love it. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Okay, I'm noticing a theme here. I'm noticing that there's like two things in this hospital now that are former pieces of mining equipment. Solution, but here we are. Let's build some so that we can treat our incoming patients. Yes, absolutely. Let's build ourselves one of these laser surgery rooms. We're ready to open up at your command, doctor, that or director. That's fine. So I think having a couple of diagnosis rooms here is a good idea. We have got a three by three space right back there that I could play with. You are going to have to like go around the reception desk and probably use all the seating up here, which I don't know that I love. So maybe what we do, maybe I'll put it here. That seems OK. I could do some vending machines in this space as well if I wanted to. I still have room for a diagnosis room, so I'm kind of all right with that. So sure, let's. Let's do that. We'll have the entrance to laser surgery be there, which I think is okay. I think I could bring this in a little bit, actually. Do something like that instead. So we just have a little bit more room with it, and I can kind of get some symmetry going on. Now, it looks like the doctor is going to be, I would assume, at the console. So we'll put it facing sort of this way. And then in terms of further decorations for the room, I mean, I, I'm starting to really enjoy kind of decorating the spaces a little bit. I don't know what I can get away with here, but I would like to try and get something i'd like i like this i think this looks pretty cool can i get another one for the other side i absolutely cannot okay <laughs> never mind was gonna was gonna hope that i could there can i get you no i guess i can put things down here though is this guy gonna fit it absolutely is okay we can do this sort of by the door we can do this little guy right in the middle and that seems pretty good a lot of counter space is is always going to be a good thing i don't know if we need lights we don't need advertising we could do some anatomy posters i guess just because that seems like a fun thing to put in here we could do some art we could do some rugs we could do some plants you know what i'll do i'll get a plant for the corner i can't get a plant in the corner never mind all right that'll do that seems perfectly fine we'll get that thing built and I'm going to keep the game paused for a second because I just want to do some more stuff with these uh, these benches. I've decided that with this hospital, I, I want to spend a little bit more time trying to make it look interesting because we didn't really do that with the first one, right? The first one was kind of like, hey, I'm learning how to play this game. So this time around, I want to see what we can do. I want to see what I can get away with. I want to see how I can make this thing look. And thus far, I mean, I'm really really vibing with it i'm not gonna lie it seems very very cool we got all these plants we got all these benches this area looks great to be completely honest a little bit tight around the reception and it's it's probably gonna be but that's totally fine i also want to see about changing the styles of these rooms so i think my diagnosis rooms this time will go for like aquamarine and then i think for my staff lounge we're gonna go for red which did work this time which is great I think for the laser surgery room, we are going to go for bright yellow, which only seems to have applied to a few things. So, you know what? Let's go for black on the laser surgery room. And then for the other diagnosis room, it's not going to be edited that I want to do. A uh, cancel room currently being built. Hold on. No, 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 no. Confirm. Just to make sure that I don't mess anything up. And then aquamarine for that as well. 
I also totally forgot to add bins and toilets. So we've got some toilets back here flanked by some plants and some benches. We've got some bins down here that I can change the color of as well, which I absolutely love. And then we have the Medibots. Do I have any new outfits for you? No, I'm sure I'll get some at some point. You'll you'll be totally fine. That's great. So now we need some doctors, right? We're going to need some doctors to work in the diagnosis rooms. We're going to need someone to work in laser surgery. So let's go to recruitment and see what we've got. We've got Patsy Moon. You are a level one. You're level three and you specialize in laser surgery. So Dave, you are going to be hired is what you're going to be. Absolutely. Absolutely going to be doing that. Wait, I just hired a psychopath. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on a minute. <laughs> hold on. Oh, <laughs> hold, oh, hold, hold, Dave. Culture, curiosity, ordinary decoration. Wait, you're a, you are, oh, always damages patients and doing so makes them happy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, probably should have read. I mean, I could fire him, but I got an achievement for it. So we're going to keep Dave is what we're going to do. And we're going to lock him to that room. <laughs> No. Oh boy. Okay. So he has food and drink coverage. He has food and drink needs and needs more ordinary decorations. We can absolutely do that. Um, yeah, I really should have probably paid attention there to be, to be quite honest with you. We have got warp flange who is good at uh, diagnosis though. So you can go into that room right there and it would be nice to get someone else that can do diagnosis, but I think we'll just get, uh, let's see, let's get Jamantha here. It was a bit of a litter bug, but Jamantha can go and work right in there. So if we go to my overview, can I have all of you show up? I absolutely can. So you are currently there. I'm going to lock you, lock you and lock you. So they're all locked to their respective rooms, which is great. And then my metabots can be managed from here as well, which is pretty cool. Can I change their outfits from here? No. Okay. Well, we'll not worry too much about that. We do have everybody that we need, though. We just need some food and drink and we need some more decorations and we are going to be sorted. So very quickly, we have these vending machines. Let's do even if it's temporary, we'll do some vending machines, something like this. And then I would like to get myself some ordinary decorations, which in this case is basically advertising. So let's put the advertising thing there. Let me move you down here by one move you down here by one and then hopefully this fits nicely in the middle does that make the humans a little bit happier it absolutely does seem like that is the case where is that there's good old good old dave so you're working in there everybody is situated let's get this hospital opened up it's taken forever to do this i feel like i'm stalling but i feel like i've got a good hospital so let's let's get it opened we're absolutely ready. Let's do it and see what happens. I'll let Mr. Moon know that we're operating and ready to receive patients from the festival. Oh, hey, you guys are open now. Apparently, that's that's good, actually, because people were, like, dying down, down here. My security guards are going to try and get them up to you, but a lot of them are very heavy from having metal all over their face, so we'll get them to you when we can. Thanks. That sounds concerning. I don't... I don't know... I mean, laser surgery is here for a reason, I guess. This, I guess, is the people. Does anyone have metal on their face? Oh, you. Are you the one with them? I don't, you know what? We'll not worry about it. Desk and a diagnosis room. They may begin their adventure of not prematurely dropping dead. That is definitely the goal. It looks like we're going to be needing some more rooms, though. We're going to need a boning chamber. We're going to need the other thing that has the tank in it. So... Do I want to do a third diagnosis room? I don't know that I need to. I do think I could get away with the boning chamber, though, which has to be four by four, so it's not going to fit here, unfortunately. The skin lab has to be three by four. It will fit here, which is great news. So let's do that. Let's get ourselves a, uh, a good old, good old fashioned skin lab in here. It sounds it's not a it's not a fun sentence to say out loud. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's let's have that thing here. Let's have this thing. I'm going to say right over in that corner. And again, I want to do some decorations. I'm really enjoying decorating my rooms. So I want a little cabinet right there. I would like to try and get this. Th Wait, can I get another cabinet in this corner? Is there just about room for it? No. Can I get you in this corner? I absolutely can. Okay. Can I get a little thing next to it? I absolutely can. There we go. Okay. I like that. <laughs> There's absolutely no reason 
to be uh to be doing all this but i'm i'm kind of here for it this might look kind of cool there yeah i like that as well let's get some wall decorations just while we're here what are we doing so this is the this is the skin lab so we're gonna skin lab poster which i've just realized is all the layers of the of some alien skin we'll get a brain poster as well just because it's it's pretty good and i think that's probably enough for this room i don't think we want to overdo it so let's go ahead and confirm and we're gonna have to get well we don't need more benches actually we do need another doctor though so recruitment wise you macho elba are fantastic for the skin lab we are gonna hire you put you in there we'll run things and then once you're here i can lock you to the skin lab which is fantastic so that's gonna be us sorted for the skin lab the boning chamber being four by four that's slightly trickier now it's right here it's a bit more expensive i um, so we got all the people i could put it there rounded up and they've been like aggressively shoved into your shovels uh so they're on their way now please fix them uh we need their post festival reviews for our socials thanks all right, so we have this metal thing showing up for laser surgery. That's fine. So the, the boning chamber, do I want to tuck it right in that corner? We have got a good amount of seating out front. I don't know that it's going to be enough. That is sort of going to create a little corridor here, which I'm sort of okay with. I don't know what this space could end up being. I guess that could be more seating. So I guess the door, you know what? The door is going to go back there just because it's out of the way. And I, I kind of like that. And then I forgot how big this thing is. This thing is huge. It will also fit in the middle of the room, which I'm fine with. And honestly, I'm not going to bother decorating that room. I don't think there's any point. I also, let's see. So we have some toilets down here. I do need some more bins. So let me just get myself, we'll start with benches, right? So we'll do, we'll do a bench right here. We can hopefully do, let's see. I can do a bench. Can I get some benches that are sort of doubled up here? I think I can. So a bench right there and a bench right there. We'll spin these around and do something like this. So this gives us plenty of seating space. It gives me room for more plants as well. I can then get a little bin in the corner and I unfortunately can't get a toilet thing in here. So if I move you down to say maybe this spot, is that an option? It absolutely is. If I hold control, can I put this guy in the corner? I absolutely can. So that's that's what I'm thinking we'll do for this. It's a little bit cramped, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. And in terms of plants, we'll just go ahead and do these guys. We'll put one right in there, I suppose. And we'll put one maybe there just to sort of separate things a little bit. I don't know if I like that sticking out, actually. Let's get rid of you. Let's just do the regular one right here. And I unfortunately can't do plants down the side of the toilet thing either, which is fine. Let's just do here. I could get rid of the bin and put, you know what we're going to do? We're going to move the bin, actually. We're going to put the bin right in this corner, which I think is a much better spot for it. And then I'm just going to get myself more plants. I'm really enjoying this, this whole plant thing that I've got going on. I think it's really cool. I also want to get a little bit of art for this wall. I think would be kind of great. And that seems nice. That's a nice little seating area. That'll be great for the boning chamber in case there's any emergencies. It also means anything I build kind of around here has more seating available. We just have so much seating right now and we're really just getting started. So let's go ahead and run things again. We are going to need to hire someone that can work the boning chamber. Athena seems to be the one for it. So congratulations, you are hired and you're going to be locked to that room as well. Director, the patients who got coated with liquid metal have just arrived. Our first patients are beginning to arrive and some of them are species we've not yet encountered. Ms. Orion's uploaded a couple of dossiers for us to get acquainted with. Who just arrived with the metal? Oh, oh, look at you. Oh, they're all, I mean, we're not allowed to use the word aliens in this game, but they're all not human. They look really cool. They all look really cool. I love that. The Dianai are a plant-based species. They're often loners, vagrants, artists, explorers. And their family dynamic has a lot to do with their isolation. They're created by a living planet. It won't talk to them. It won't give them purpose. They just pop out of the ground without a reason for their existence. Despite their solitary nature, other species really, really like being around them. Pheromones or something, who knows? 
Okay, so the Dianai have floral pheromones. It will increase the mood of nearby patients and doctors. Radius is increased when sitting down. They like seating, which is going to keep them... They're going to be very happy here. And they like plant decorations, which is going to keep them really happy here as well. Yes! That's fantastic. We can look at their physiology if we want to. We can look at... Wow, there's so much to read about them. That's very cool. Kuba Bali. These hearty sauroids are patient, precise, and durable. They rarely need a break, and it takes their bladders an almost supernaturally long time to fill up. So there's that. They adore order, and live in discreet tribes, or with their own rituals, which have been brought into a cultural structure known as concatenated ordering. The exact details of how that all works aren't entirely understood, but it seems to work for them, so more power to them. Absolutely. They're pretty cool looking as well. They like open spaces, though, so they might not love this hospital, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. I've just noticed it's called Metalhead as well. Let me prioritize these patients so that they are dealt with nice and quickly so that we can start progressing a little bit because I have taken forever in, in getting this whole thing set up. What are you? So you, you aren't happy that there aren't a lot of curious decorations. Okay, can we do something about that very quickly because humans in this hospital are going to be happy. I don't know why I keep pausing. It's like I'm playing City Skylines all over again. Uh, let's do this on that wall and that seems to have made you a little bit happier. I don't know if that applies to this space over here. So let's do... Do I want to do this? I think I kind of do. I think we'll put this against that wall and that should make people happy as well. So that should keep everybody relatively happy in terms of decorations. We have plenty of space for people to check into the hospital, plenty of space for people to sit down. We've got plenty of space for people to get treated. What are you complaining about? Undecorated area. Okay. Can I just, again, I've paused, but can I just go in here? So skin lab, many, brain, glumps, qualc, radioactive toxin, etc., etc. Can I just put stuff in a room? I absolutely can. So let me do this. And that'll kind of keep that wall happy. And has that got you a little bit happier? I think it has. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. So in theory, everyone should be relatively happy. We should be able to treat everything. You are sitting down, which is hopefully going to keep you happy as well. Okay. This seems like it's going really well. Let's, we're already a three-star hospital as well, which is great news. That's I'm, I'm very much okay with that. Let's speed things up a little bit and see how the treatment goes. So what is this doing exactly? You are... You're good by the looks of it. Don't you hurt everybody! You guys are just lasering the metal off our crowd? That's so cool, I'm not even sure if I care if they die. I guess we hired the right people, huh? I guess you did hire the right people. I don't know how I feel about, about, about all that, but yeah, I guess you did hire the right people. Let's get this thing in. Let's go for orange on this. I think that looks very cool. And then over this way, I love that it is just, it's just, it's just a rave. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, over here, Skin Lab 1, let's have you be, I don't know if red is the color I want to go for. Oh, that does look, that looks very clinical just with every, everything in white. I, I like... I kind of like the purple. I think we'll go for the purple in the skin lab just because it's it's pretty solid. We've treated two out of the five metalhead patients. And apparently, despite Dave being an actual psychopath, he's he doesn't seem to have, well, I won't say he's not hurt anybody, but he doesn't seem to have killed anybody yet, which is, I mean, that's good. That's, that's I'm, I'm thinking that's a good thing, right? That's, <laughs> that's kind of how I'm choosing to look at this, is Dave hasn't killed anybody. So we have to assume that that is progress. So do you guys just fit on that table no problem? Oh, you do? Okay. And then they just get lasered, right? Yeah, they get rolled back a little bit. This thing goes around firing some lasers. I love it. I really do. It's also, is it a different animation for these guys? It is. So it's a different animation, I think, based on the species that's getting treated. That's very cool as well. We've also got a bunch of these bugs around, so let me grab all of these. I don't remember what they all do. I know some of them, I mean, as we saw, are for for money. 
This is going really well. This is going to... I know we're just getting started, but this is going too well for just getting started. You know what I mean? It just feels like it's going a little bit, a little bit too well right now. I'm kind of waiting on... Wait, were you... Are you... <laughs> The metalhead gave him a goatee. I think. I think it turned his goatee into me. Yeah, it did. Bravo on handling that emergency. It's in the bag. Uh, Mr. Moon is apparently occupied by his exhausting labors, but he's provided a pre recorded message for you. I'll play it now. In the event that you guys do a great job. Hey, wow, great job. Thanks for doing uh, whatever it is you did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great for the festival. Thanks. Here's money. Um, goodbye. <laughs> Okay, so we got some rewards for that. What have we got? We've got a hollow dark emitter. We don't really want to use those too much. We got some credits. We got some Lomite. We got Ode Influence and we got Craftium. We also have Baz stopping by. How you doing, Baz? We also get a free item, repair kits, hollow bots. Drop this in the ground to release a swarm of temporary metabots to assist your overwork real metabots. And we've got stabilizing solutions. Okay. I am thinking that I I don't think I'm going to need more Medibots. I don't know that I need any of these right now. We don't really have enough money, I don't think. We could get the hollow ones, but I think I'm going to get the stabilizing solution so that nobody dies. That seems that seems like a smart move, right? Just in case there's an emergency. Designing a new tractor for some reason. And he told me to let you know that Leonard Moon is calling. Bye-bye. Wow, hey, it's me again. Um, so one of our headline acts, Twiggy Pop or something, is sick like big time. She's already finished her set, so it's not the worst thing if she dies, I guess. It wouldn't be great for our media coverage, though, so please keep her alive for like two hours or so. Thanks. Yes. What a delightful fellow. Uh, director, when it comes to VIP treatments, the faster we treat the patient concerned, the better our rewards will be. It's probably worth pulling out all the stops to make sure Twiggy gets the best and fastest treatment possible. Okay, so we need to save Twiggy Pop, which to me, it seems like that's a... I mean, it's, it's good that we got the stabilizing solution, right? That that kind of seems like what it's what it's saying. You know, like, hey, there's a VIP, don't let them die. That's, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of glad that's what I went for. Twiggy Pop has arrived. I think she makes the best harsh noise in the galaxy. Merit, you have no idea who this person is. Welcome to the station, ma'am. A machine, huh? Well, nice to meet you, mate. So, looks like I ran into Festicrosis bacteria at the festival, and it's eaten off about half my face. Any chance you could fix this? Of course. We'll get your ailment seen to as quickly as we can. Assuming we have seats, you are welcome to sit in one of them. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. Why does everything smell of chlorine? Okay. So you're so just you rotting away. Some kind of flesh cool. bacteria. Okay. Great. Keep that to yourselves, please. I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. Yeah, good old flesh-eating bacteria from the music festival. That's that's just what you want. <laughs> that's that's just what you want to hear. Flesh-eating bacteria at the music festival. Hopefully we can help you out, though. I mean, we... I don't know where we're going to be sending you to. By the looks of it... Why is everyone queuing up instead of just like... Oh, good. Okay. I don't know why none of these guys are sitting down. There we go. All right, so you're going in there. Hopefully this... Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hopefully the psychopath doesn't kill the VIP. <laughs> oh, oh, that could be really bad. That'd be a really bad time for him to start actually being a psychopath, you know? Really wouldn't... Really... W oh, I think you're okay, right? You good? We, we did it. Hey, there we go. Keeping me alive and everything. The music scene is a mess of dodgy contracts and corporate control. And I'd rather do something more meaningful with my life. Seems like you guys know what you're doing. And I used to be a doctor. So I want to join up. I've sent your machine my resume. Wait, what? Hold on a minute. What? Hey, director. I'm Twiggy Pop. I started life as a doctor working in the core regions. Tough gig, but it's made me pretty good at the job. Also, 
people really like my singing. Not sure why, but it makes anyone nearby better at their work, more focused. Anyway, that's me. Thanks for taking me on, director. It's nice to get back to doing something I actually care about. So we have a consultant now who inspires all nearby doctors. Okay, that's very cool. So where are you? Bring this consultant to the hospital. Can I just assign you anywhere? Or do I have to, I think I have to assign you to a room, right? I've really got no idea. Let's, let's assign you here and see what that does. So you're, you're in here. Are you replacing the doctor that was in there or, oh, you are replacing the doctor that was in there. Oh, thanks little guy. All right, I'll go get changed. Any chance of a cappuccino? I don't think that exists, but I'll try. Director, we've acquired our first consultant. They're permanent additions to your team, traveling with us from hospital to hospital. Let's open the consultant window to bring Dr. Pop in now. Okay, so I probably should have paid attention to what I was doing before I did it, but so yeah, so, so Twiggy is now working in in here that's great but i kind of want to change it up a little bit because you you are definitely supposed to be in here so i i kind of kind of need you to be assigned to a, a room is is what i need can i unassign you from the room is that a thing i can do can i tell you to to not not be in there or can i level you up in laser surgery is that a thing Choose a new doctor for this room. Yeah, let's do that. Matching expertise. Apparently it's Twiggy. Director, consultants are quite different from our other staff members. Let's inspect Dr. Pop to find out more. Dr. Pop, like all consultants, is a remarkably effective clinician who can expertly operate any of our rooms. As consultants earn experience, they gain powerful, unique abilities. And sometimes you need to make hard choices as to which ones they acquire. You can see the perks Twiggy has in her skill tree. And that's everything you need to know about that. Let's get cracking, shall we? Hey, um, I got a message from Twiggy that everything went okay with her treatment, which sounds good. Uh, and also that she's quit the music business, so I have seven executives here who are using circular breathing to shriek non-stop like a ghoul. Ask her um, not to do that. Thanks. Okay. So... Okay, Baz is back. That's fine. So Twiggy, hold on, you've got different outfits. Director, Interesting. Dr. Pop is calling about a psychotic break amongst the festival goers, which, judging by the current set list, seems entirely justified. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So you will eventually level up, which is great. You have expert level skills in laser surgery. So despite the fact that we hired a psychopath, can I just get rid of the psychopath? Is that a thing we can do? Permanently leave the hospital. Yeah, I think I think we're going to we're going to fire you is what we're going to do. So you can you can get out of here. I'm going to click that thing to get free stuff as well. So yeah, you're 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 out of here is is what you are. You can absolutely get out of here and that's fine. Baz, have you got anything free for me? You do. I kind of want well, I don't know what I want. I want those. I think I want those. That'll be fine. That seems... That seems good. I think we're in a good place. I still don't love that this area is so crowded, but... I I think we're doing okay. Let's see what, uh, what Twiggy has to say. Director, it seems people are falling prey to some kind of psychosis. A fear of space flight or something? They're on their way, and they're just constantly screaming inside the ambulance. Ah, psychological condition. Ms. Orion's been preparing for this eventuality. She'll be in touch with the details. The Dream Dreamarium. So, we arranged a trade deal with a planet ruled by psychic clams. In exchange for an unknown quantity of an unknown substance, they've lent us their services as therapists, basically with a doctor as an intermediary. These creatures can dive into the depths of our patients' minds, rearrange their neural networks, and slurp out any lingering negative emotion. No issue so far. And the treatments have proven incredibly effective in testing. Sure would be nice to remember what our contract with the clams was, though. 
That sounds so Baldur's Gate, and I'm absolutely here for it. Once we've got some of those rooms set up, I'll dive right in. Could be kind of creepy. Okay, so Twiggy wants to wants to do this. Okay, we can we can figure that out. Let's do I and mean, we have all this space to play with. This thing only needs to be three by three though, so I could get two of them in this space if I wanted to. Or I could do four by three, similar to this diagnosis room, and give it a little bit more space, which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go for the four by three right there. The door in question can go right there. And then this thing is going to go right there. I might actually move the uh, move the door along just a little bit to uh, to that spot. Seems like the better place for it. I don't. How would the hollow dock work here? I'm I'm. It, it, hmm. <laughs> that's that's an interesting one. How the uh, how the old the old hollow dock would work on this thing. I'm kind of kind of curious about that. Not that curious, but definitely a little bit curious about how a hollow dock would work on something that's supposed to be like a you know, linking minds together kind of thing. Very, very interesting. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can't get uh, a little bit more storage in here. Let's get rid of you actually and put this thing in uh, in that corner and maybe this guy right about here should be fine. In terms of other decorations, let's do a brain poster since it's a room about like psychosis and stuff like that. That seems pretty good. We could do... They're scared of space flight, right? That's what they were screaming about. So a painting, a piece of art with space on it seems fitting. Uh, <laughs> we'll go, we'll go with that. Um, I can also do a rug, which honestly, yeah, I'm kind of here for it. I kind of like the idea of a little rug in there. And do I want to do some plants? I think I want a little plant right about right about there. Seems pretty good. And uh, you know what? Let's do let's do a couple more just to get the place to be. A bit more interesting looking. Can I do a plant here as well? Yeah. I think I might do it back. Uh, no, you know what? We'll go for that. That seems fine. That seems like a good room. It's a little bit expensive too. So we'll get that going. Let's get ourselves someone. Is there anyone that specializes in this? Diagnosis, boning chamber, diagnosis. We can get... Oh! We can get you guys... We can get you guys set up as, uh, as, as doctors. I can't remember what the name of those species are, but that's that's really cool. I've also realized it might be a good idea to move Twiggy to a different room. So let me put you over there and can we hire someone that's good at the laser thing? Is that, have we, yeah, you for example, Elizabeth, you're pretty good at lasers. So yeah, let's do that. Let's hire you and put you to work in there. That'll be pretty good. We can go to the staff overview and Elizabeth is doing lasers, which is great. Dr. Flange is doing nothing right now, which is fine. And you're doing... There we go. Now everybody's locked to where they should be. Hey, guys. Uh, so some randos decided to weld rocket boosters to some asteroids, and I couldn't stop them. And now a space rock is headed straight towards your station. Uh, sorry, and good luck with all that stuff. That sounds troubling. Um, there's... There's... Space rocks. Heading... Oh, oh. 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 Oh, that's not. <laughs> Please stop. Director, it looks like the festival isn't the only place to find rock and roll. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, we've taken on significant damage from the impact. Yeah, I can see that. That's you probably why Baz has been offering me wow. all those different repairs so and stuff like that. But it seems um, that we're okay. I hope it's legal. I'm not a narc, mostly. But yeah, cover your ass. All right, so this thing is... Is that the bad thought that's being exercised right there? That's horrific. That is... <laughs> that is horrific. Oh, my God. Okay. I mean, it seems to be working, and I'm also realizing we have enough money now that we can probably, next time Baz comes around, I might just get some more Medibots, because we do only have two of them. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's, let's leave it there for today. Let's not have this episode be an hour and 10 minutes long, like the first, the first episode of any series being an hour and 10 minutes long is ridiculous. That was such a bad idea, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. That is gonna do us for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, 
I'll see you next time. Bye bye